and today i will talk about one of the most important topic of drives and transmission this topic is very important in terms of daily maintenance as well as in engineering i welcome you all to my youtube channel technocrat help please like and subscribe my channel before going forward power transmission from prime mover to machine by means of intermediate mechanism is called drive now i will tell about types of mechanical drives so what is the definition of mechanical drives mechanical drives are used to provide a variable output speed from a constant speed power source or to provide torque increase for a variable speed power source as in motor mobile so i will be covering three types of mechanical drives first is gate transmission drives it provides specific fixed ratios second drive is belt drives provide flexibility in the positioning of the motor third drive is chain drives provide infinitely variable speeds so now talking about gear transmission in detail so what is gear transmission gear transmission is a mechanism for transmitting motion by gears for specific purpose gear transmission or tooth wheel transmissions are positive type drives which are used to transmit motion between two shafts or a shaft and a component having linear motion by meshing up of two or more gears they have advantage of other drives like chain and belt drives in case of precision machine where a definite velocity ratio is of importance and also in case of where the driver and followers are in close proximity talking about gear transmission drives advantages first is it gives a positive drive and constant speed ratio second is it is very compact due to short center distance third is it give a very high efficiency and simple operation fourth is longest service life as compared to other mechanical drives fifth is can be used for heavier loads also next drive i will be talking about is belt drives so belt drives are used to mechanical link two or more rotating items they may be used as a source of motion to transmit power at at up to 98% efficiency between two points or to track relative movement there is a method of transferring rotatory motion between two shafts but there is a issue that Belt drives have relatively high inspection and maintenance demands. I will be showing you one of the example of usage of belt drives. The diagram on the screen shows a simple comprised of two pulley wheels and a belt. It is a simple mechanical device to winch up a rope up and down. Pulley systems are used when there is a need to transmit rotatory motion. Now I will be talking about the advantages of the belt drive. First is it has a higher velocity ratio up to 10. Second is it has smooth operation as it is endless no joint trouble. third is it has more positive reliable drive and less slippage fourth is it has long life and can be easily installed and can also be easily removed talking about chain drives one of the best example is a bicycle everyone has seen a bicycle or used one notice that it is driven by a large gear wheel with pedals attached to it smaller gears at the back are driven round and in turn round the back the wheel as the wheel wheel turns the bicycle move forwards gears at the back are driven around in turn driving around the back wheel as the back wheel turns the bicycle moves forward gears driven by chains are used in machinery motorcycle in car engines and have now on the screen you can see the types of chain drives one is single chain drive and second is duplex chain drive talking about the advantages of chain drives first it is always a positive drive second it can be employed for longer and shorter distance third it is very small and compact inside fourth it gives less loads on shafts hope you like this video thank you all